Well, guys, how's it going? First off, I mean, this is uh, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to this. So, yeah, um, we're no complaints on no, our end. Yeah. I hope people, I hope people enjoy yeah. watching the show as much as we've enjoyed making it. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that they will. I, I mean, I got to see the pilot. I loved it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of the season plays out. I'm really excited about it. It was a it was a really good show. Uh, for for the people that haven't had the opportunity to learn much about it, I mean, can you tell us a little bit about your characters? I play the captain. Sort of, we play these co-pilots and. I'm her captain, Leland Gallo, and he's a kind of a sky cowboy, a little bit reckless, uh, unhinged, makes him a good, you know, good risk taker uh, in the air, but also, you know, can create some havoc in his personal life. And uh, yeah, together we, we make a pretty pretty good team. Yeah, um, I, I play Nora Madani, and she is the first female uh, special ops helicopter pilot that gets to be in a combat position in this unit. Um, of Shadow Raiders, which is modeled after the real 160th uh, Night Stalkers. And it's a very elite team of very highly competent individuals, which is really nice to see because we don't always get this very well-oiled machine in the media portrayed, and is especially with a female um, kind of member in it. So uh, she just kind of goes through uh, this failed rescue mission and has to cope in different ways. and. It gets confused by the feelings she may or may not have for uh, <laughs> her captain, and and their camaraderie is blurred. And uh, yeah. Do so you guys feel that playing these roles specifically has it changed your your perspective on the military? Like, is it been Absolutely. At all? I, I was not Certainly. very familiar with uh, military life. Uh, I don't come from a background my family. I, I don't have anybody in the military. So for me, it was a fully immersive learning process to uh, learn a little bit about what these individuals go through and what their families go through and the people in their circles go through. So uh, a lot of books, a lot of uh, Shoot Like a Girl and Ashley's War and Black Hawk Down and a lot of uh, research and uh, of course our amazing technical advisor. Right. Yeah. The, the, the camaraderie among the military community is incredible. I mean, I, I grew up playing sports so that might be the closest thing I've experienced to that but like being a part of that fraternity is a really special thing and um, it's strange to say I'm almost envious of that. They, you know, they're it's a one big family, and wherever these people go, you know, they're a part of it. Um, it's really strong. You fuck, like you could. I get it. Like army strong, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. to, together, anything's possible. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. And I know you guys have the opportunity to be the very first military theme show on the CW. I mean, that in itself has got to be exciting, right? Yeah. yeah. Kind of like paving the way for something a little bit new. Yeah. It's definitely kind of rebranding the network in a, a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, we love, I, I think we love being part of a team and uh, a group of artists and individuals and writers and uh, producers that are willing to take a risk in order to make a statement, be it political, be it social, be it uh, whatever it, it is for every individual. But I think we're, we're very proud to be a part of that kind of a community and people who are like, you know what? We're gonna take a gamble because we feel like this is a worthy and good story to tell. And right. kudos to Kyle Jarrow. You know, yeah. having a playwright Rip. as part of our uh, team of showrunners is, is, has been invaluable in that sense too. And it's, and it's a military backdrop, but it, you know, the core of it, it's about human beings and love and fear and you know, we all, we all fight and die for the same things in life, you know. And do you think that's part of what's going to set this show apart? Because we've got, you know, a couple other military dramas that are starting as well. I mean, what do you think the big things about about Valor have doing that? Well, those, no, but those, those, shows no, those shows don't have Christina. Not on CW. Those shows don't have Christina Ochoa. Well, <laughs> well I mean, that, that's, yeah, but that's, that's a given. That's a given. I mean, I mean, the audience already knows that, so we've got that part right. But I mean, in general, like as far as a, as far as the storyline, I mean, what's going to what's going to really set Valor apart? Uh, I think that the fact that uh, some of the other shows, which we've never heard of, um, <laughs> are uh, very story-driven, very action-driven, very plot-driven or mission, uh, as um, as it may be, and we are ultimately character and relationship driven. I think that um, it's all in a beautiful wrapper and there is action and there is story and it doesn't stop. You've seen the pilot. It keeps mm -hmm. going. It, 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 the story right. keeps moving at that same I rhythm, but it's all about the human element behind them. It's the stories of these people. It's it's not about the mission. It's about and what do a, they feel. Yeah, and it's a long journey. There's the, I think the serialized element of our show is what's you know you're gonna you're in it for the long haul. It's gonna be one big movie, mm -hmm. really. And so I think week to week it's gonna be exciting to come back see what happens next and um, yeah. more secrets are revealed and. Which, I mean, that's what's making me want to come back and watch the second episode already as soon as I get the opportunity to. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like hearing so, yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got it on that. So favorite part so far, like your favorite moment, onset, offset, through this entire process? 
Um, Question. Ooh, that's hard. I, I have very fond memories of uh, our, our pilot, when we were shooting our pilot, and kind of the family aspect that I, I, I felt for the first time in, in a really long time at work, um, in no small part thanks to our showrunners and our director of the pilot, Mike Robin, who just made it such a wonderful experience and a pleasant place to work. And he gave everybody, um, maybe not authority is not the right word, but freedom to really be the best at their job. And uh, it was uh, yeah. it was just seamless. It was easy. It was fun. Every day you got to set, and we were just like had new toys and helicopters and a buck, and it's like a theme park ride, you know, half the time. So yeah. That's awesome. For me, there's a moment where there's a line uh, where the whole unit is out on the airstrip, and we all go, "Hua!" That's what you do. And, and when when you heard it like resound among 200 people, you felt that magic of what you know that camaraderie and that big team really is and I thought man this is what this is what at the heart of the show this yeah. is what it is and so that's was, awesome yeah. well guys thank you very much for your time I really appreciate it and uh, like I said I really look forward to seeing what the rest of the season plays out oh, thank, thank you so you. much we're very excited